get one thing here. Oh yeah, we're gonna use that. We I found news in it. And per this. Perfect. Little yard work on Mother's Day. Good morning, happy Mother's Day once again. Working on the yard for Mama. Take it all the way down there. See, so it's oh, gonna yes. cover this whole Table. fence. And there's one way down yes, there. I see it, I see it. And there's, a, there's one right here, which isn't as big, and that one's not as big. Dang. Hun, this no, one is crushing it. Oh, it is going to go crazy. Uh, yes, that works perfect. Nothing like a good soaker hose, you know what I mean? Trying to figure out this yard, one summer at a time. Hi, baby boy. <laughs> All right, True Love's gotta go save the baby, so she's gotta set the camera down. <laughs> Let's see that, oh yeah. Oh, this looks amazing. I lit some candles, Come on, Hello. come on, happy Mother's on. Day. Come on. Oh my god, my little son pulling at my leg. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at all that. Hun, I said extra everything and it's free. All of that extra stuff is free. Do you want me to go get a giant bowl to mix it all in? Uh, no. Or you'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mm, boom. Whoop. The Cleveland Marathon. To race or not to race, that is the question. Keyword, Hamlet. You, you better believe it. Keyword is Hamlet down in the comments. Thanks for hitting it up. Oh, and yes, again, happy Mother's Day. We had a beautiful day just hanging out at the house, going to the pool as a family, eating a delicious dinner. It was a great day. I didn't do too much filming. Was focused on just being present to the family. So it was beautiful. And now I am in the studio quoting Hamlet to you and trying to wrestle with figuring out to race or not to race. That is the question. But before we answer that question, I want to reflect again, yes, with you. It's been a fun, I'm telling you. And actually, I'm going to throw in the question of the day right now as well. It has been a fun training block. I must say, it's been a crazy transition to go from ultra running to marathon running and racing, I should say. And I must, like, they're different. There's no other way to say it other than they are really two different disciplines. Now, there are uh, trail marathon races, but I'm telling you, like, once you go above 30 miles in a race, there's something different about the whole experience with making sure your legs are strong enough to go that far at a high pace. And one of the biggest differences is nutrition. Like in ultra running, you're eating a lot more during the actual race. You're fueling a little differently. And of course, the pace is much faster on the roads in a marathon. So question of the day, I'm going to actually lead off a little bit with this. Do you, and this is a little bit of a tough one, but do you think you enjoy training more or racing more. And as I, you know, try to figure out this injury and why it happened, I think I land more on the side of I enjoy training more. I just got to be I call it I got to call a spade a spade. I've been injured so much in my life. I think because I love running. I love running. I love doing high volume. I love big miles. I love vertical gain. I love challenging myself. And listen, I like racing as well. I love racing. 
but I, there's nothing like a good 20 mile long run on a Sunday or frankly if getting ready for an ultra race nothing like a good 25 to 30 mile long run so anyway that's the question of the day wrestle with it think about it and listen you might be like you might love them both equally and that's a good that's a fine answer as well but if I'm being real frank and honest with myself I think I enjoy training just as much if not more than racing and now as many of you know i i wavered i struggled to find the cleveland marathon i was looking at grandma's in mid-june um i was just i was looking at a bunch of them la uh what else was i looking at a new jersey marathon i believe but i landed on cleveland and in retrospect yes I do believe this training block was a little too long, lesson learned on my part, but I've never been through this process of trying to find a flat, sea level, competitive road marathon. And lesson learned, like, you really have to basically start planning a year in advance. Like, I started planning seven to, yeah, six to seven months in advance for Cleveland. I think, uh, tip of the day, start planning your road marathon races now. Why? Because they fill up. Uh, it's hard to qualify if you need a qualifying time. It's not as easy as you might think. So anyway, lesson learned on my part. I've made a decision. I've made a decision. May 19th. May 19th. First marathon. What's it going to be? The Cleveland Marathon. Oh, baby. Okay. It was really hard, really difficult to figure out. It was, it was, it was a lot harder than I expected. Basically, yes, I'm hoping to run under 219 i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say it and i know that's really fast can i do it i don't know but if you don't try you'll never know you'll never know if you can qualify for the olympic trials if you don't try if you know what i mean now i did promise yesterday to tell you how my foot is feeling what is the trend line and i must say it's trending well it's trending i would say very well now i haven't tested it too much at the pool today with the family i just put a teeny tiny bit of weight bearing my weight on my foot as i was floating in the pool and it was feeling pretty good i must say now i can still feel a little something uh and we are six days out from cleveland okay so cleveland is on this upcoming sunday so it's six days away and so i was just testing the foot a little bit seeing how my weight in the pool not on dry land but in the pool felt and it is feeling pretty darn good i have to say that much um but i it's not the the pain is not gone completely um and my next doctor's appointment is on wednesday so what is today monday so two days from now therefore to race or not to race that is the question because of this trend line because of this training block because of how i think this foot is going to feel on sunday i'm telling you how this foot's gonna feel on Sunday, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be feeling much, much better in six days from now. And therefore, I'm not going to race the Cleveland Marathon. Sorry for the cliffhanger, I apologize. I've, this is not my first rodeo with stress fractures and stress reactions. I know that was a big buildup. Guys, come on, I cannot, I want to so bad. And I really do believe on Sunday, I wouldn't be surprised if the podiatrist on Wednesday tells me, get off the crutches and then get out of the boot in a week from now, uh, meaning like 10 days from when you're watching this. But guys, I, I, if it, okay, I will say this much. I will say this much. If this was January 2020 and I was getting ready for the Houston Marathon for my last chance to qualify for the Olympic trials, you bet I would, I would be racing. I would be. I would, that would be the risk. I'd be willing to take, meaning I would fly to Houston, I would get on the starting line, I would do a warm-up, see how it feels, if things are okay, I would go. I really would. But listen, I have more opportunities to get this Olympic uh, trials qualifying time of 219. I'm going to be patient, right? Patient grasshopper. So that is my final decision. Sorry if you live in Cleveland and we were going to have a good old hangout time after the race, but I'm not going to race the Cleveland Marathon and... You better believe, you better believe I have been plotting over the last seven to 10 days. Oh, and there goes a light, hold on. Better believe I've been plotting over the last seven to 10 days for my next marathon. Like, you know, I just as a backup plan, I have been thinking about it, researching. I've learned a lot through Cleveland. So uh, stay tuned. I will of course keep you all posted on when I make the decision for the next marathon. I'm not gonna tell you any leads that I have yet, but I am researching 
right now and it might be sooner rather than later we shall see how the foot continues to trend in the right direction i love you guys hamlet is the keyword i already asked the question of the of the day happy mother's day to all the mothers out there and we're just gonna keep fighting together sound good sound good you probably thought the green hat was a sign that i was going for it but it's just that i have a bad hair day so i was like i better put i better put a hat on for the youtube family seek beauty work hard and love each other. Ah, oh, I love you, Cleveland. I love you, Cleveland. I'll be there someday. I'll be there someday. See you tomorrow.